Hey everyone, Lauren here. I want to talk to you guys today about multivitamins and all the other vitamins you're going to have to take after weight loss surgery. I know you guys have a lot of questions about what vitamins to take. Um, my number one piece of advice, ask your doctor. You should be seeing a dietitian. If your doctor's office or insurance does not have a dietitian for you to see, um, you got to be very specific about you know, asking which vitamins to take. 99% of the time, they will give you a list and tell you what to take, when to take them, and how to take them. As of right now, if you haven't had surgery and you haven't spoken to your surgeon yet, you probably don't know anything about what vitamins to take. And that's okay because you don't really have to take them until afterwards. It's nice to start taking them beforehand, um, just to get into the habit of taking them. But after you have surgery, it is so ridiculously important to take your vitamins. Here's the thing. Bariatric surgery is, it's controlled starvation and, and your body needs these vitamins. So I've, I've heard all the excuses, you know, like, I can't take it, it makes me sick, I throw them up, I get heartburn, it's gross, I forget, it's hard to remember. Okay, okay, I hear you, figure it out. Figure it out, take your vitamins, because it's like, it's like crying that you can't eat. Like, you have to do something. Your body needs these nutrients, you have to give them to yourself somehow. So you got to take your vitamins. Um, now, what vitamins do you take? Right after you have weight loss surgery, you're going to want to have chewable vitamins because swallowing is hard after surgery. Um, you're going to get full by taking your vitamins, which is kind of hilarious because you can, it's like a meal in itself when you take your vitamins. Um, so what it starts off with is multivitamin and you want it to have at least, okay, IUI is like international units or something like that. I don't even know. Um, I think it's international units. So you want your multivitamin to have at least 400 international units of vitamin C. Now, what multivitamin you take is up to you and your doctor. But I don't recommend buying children's vitamins or chewable vitamins that are high in sugar because like my other video about dumping syndrome, sugar is a bad idea. So try to avoid vitamins that are high in sugar, um, but please find chewable vitamins at first. Later on, you can switch to something that's not chewable. You know, I'm th almost three years out. I don't use chewable vitamins anymore because they're not fun, but you know, you still have to take them. So I use green source vitamins. They're plant-based vitamins and minerals. Um, I get them from Puritan's Pride, but like I said, I'm three years out. You can't take those right away. There's a website called Bariatric Advantage, and I'll link that below, but Bariatric Advantage specifically sells vitamins, minerals, and protein and meal replacement shakes directed at bariatric surgeon patients. They're looking at you and saying, here's all your vitamins in one place, and we'll ship them straight to your door. Um... And they're nice. They're not so bad. That's where I got my multivitamins when I first had surgery. And they were, they weren't bad. They didn't taste too chalky or anything. And, the, you know, they didn't give me heartburn or make me feel like I was going to be sick. So they weren't bad. Um, so, yeah, you got to take a multivitamin. But then there's other, other vitamins you're going to want to take. Um, some people take B source vitamins. Those are all your B vitamins in one. But if you don't take those, you at least need to have a sublingual or injectable or something B12. Uh, I had a B12 vitamin I would stick under my tongue and let it dissolve. It gives you some energy. Your body is going to be a little bit deficient in B12, so you're going to want to take that. Um, calcium, you're going to want to take some calcium. Now, there is a rule. If you have to take iron and calcium, you cannot take them together. And I don't know if you were taught this by your doctor or not, but if you take iron and calcium together, they are both taken into your body with the same receptor. So if you take them both, I think it's calcium or iron, one of them will block the other one from getting absorbed, and it's like not even taking iron or calcium.
I don't remember which one it is. Anyways, um, don't take them together. <laughs> take them at separate times during the day or I think it's like an hour apart or something. But calcium, you can take, there's chewable ones that are like, I had some that were really good from Bariatric Advantage. They were like chocolate chews. It was like candy, and it made me happy because I couldn't have anything, and I was like on protein shakes. And then like once a day, I had this calcium chew that made me happy. So that's probably bad advice to want candy, but yeah, it helped. So I was taking my multivitamin, my B12, my calcium. Oh. I had to take vitamin D because I have a vitamin D deficiency like 99% of the population from what I hear. Uh, so yeah, I was taking a prescription vitamin D supplement. And what else? Oh, biotin. Now, here's the deal. Biotin is strictly for hair growth to prevent your hair from falling out and growing back. Now, biotin will not be the only thing that helps your hair. And I know tons of people want to talk about it, how you just need biotin, but to be completely honest, just biotin won't work. You have to get your protein. You have to get your hydration. You have to have water. Take some biotin. Sleep. Try not to stress. Don't mess with your hair. Don't dye it a bunch of different colors. Don't wear extensions like I do. Um, be good to your hair. But... You can also take hair, skin, and nail vitamins. They have biotin in them, but also other B vitamins and other vitamins that help with hair growth. Um, you know, there's times that doctors recommend that you take things like fish oils and all that other kind of stuff. So, ugh, who wants to take that? But um, really just follow the list your doctor gave you because they're going to do your blood and they're going to tell you exactly what you need to take based on your blood work and the surgery you have. So don't go on the internet and be like, hey, what vitamins do I take? Because the internet doesn't know everything. Um, I gave you a list just now and if you follow my list instead of your doctor, you might get sick. I'm not a doctor. Don't listen to what I'm saying. I'm just telling you what I took. Now, read the paperwork. Follow the advice of your doctor. If you don't know, call your doctor. But I think the best person to talk to would probably be a dietitian. You should probably find one of those too. Yeah, if you don't have a dietitian, you might want to get one of those. But yeah, vitamins, you will be told what vitamins to take when you have surgery. You absolutely will be told. And if not, you can always call and ask because that is your right when you have surgery. Call and ask. So thank you for watching my videos. I will be back with another one very soon.